Hi, this is Matt McIntosh and in this video we're quickly going to have a look at a basic introduction of Premiere. So to start off with, create a new project. Um, make sure it's got the HDV um, capture format. Give it a title uh, so you can work with it. I'm just going to call this one Test Animation. Um, put video on the end of that. <clears throat> Okay, so on this screen, what you need to be looking at doing is getting the HD TV stuff set up. I'm just going for the 1080p uh, 24. You can rename your sequence if you want, but just click OK, and that will give you this sort of layout. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is look at importing in some um, image-based stuff. So you've been rendering it out. If you tick this little box as an image sequence, it will bring in every single frame that relates to that actual um, render. So it will make it as a video. You can also drag and drop like I've just done there. Um, but if you're wanting to bring image files in, do the actual import version. Um, just keep the existing settings when you drag it onto your timeline. We don't need all that space, so I'm just going to reduce it down so we can see a better version of the, uh, the actual video. Now, when you start editing this, you might want to actually see the various frames. So if you go to this little button where it says show frames, it'll give you every single frame that's available. Now, um, what you can also do is um, scale the size of the uh, images, but you can also kind of trim down or um, zoom in on the specific frames. Now, all I'm going to do is kind of uh, scrub through the animation, as you can see. Uh, and I'm going to use this little razor blade here, uh, which is controlled by the C key. And um, what it does is it kind of snaps to your timeline. So whatever frame your um, uh, specific uh, line is, is kind of sitting on, that's the one that it will cut at. So you don't, don't need to worry about lining it up too much. Um, delete the stuff at the beginning and click on right click and ripple delete as you can see that moves it to the beginning of the uh, video content now you might notice that it's not quite filling the screen so go to your clip click on uh, scale to frame size and that will try to you know put it at the same scale now if you've got two clips like I have here you're going to need to do it with both of them because otherwise it'll look a bit odd. As you can see, it kind of allows me to um, get a, a framed um, image and we've got some uh, rotation going on on that actual um, video. All I'm going to do now is just export the thing out. I'm going to call this one Sequence 1A. I can choose to export out audio if I want um, and then just click on Export. Ideally, you'd be looking at saving it as a H264 um, codec, but this one's just an AVI, but it shows you how quick and easy that actually is. So that's a quick intro to Premiere. Thanks for watching.